Hey guys, Astro Shade here, bringing you my first ever video on my brand new channel, hoping to bring you into the Silver League of Street Fighter V Online. In this video, I want to show you how to read your opponent and adjust your fighting technique as the fight goes on. I always use Bison in my ranked matches, so he's who you'll be seeing in all of my examples. Also, I'm more of a competitive, casual player. I'm by no means in the top 100, um, and with that, I hope to bring you into the Silver League kind of separate yourself from the beginners with the techniques I'm going to show you. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Uh, in my first video, um, I'm fighting Birdie. This is the first time I fought Birdie in a competitive online match. Uh, I think I may have fought him in uh, training mode or something one or two times. But I'd never really gotten a good feel for his moveset. So in the beginning of the fight, I really kind of feel him out to see what I can get away with. You'll know, see here as the fight starts, I, I go right into it just to see what I can get away with. And you see I get punished as soon as I go in to get for that jump. Um, I'm going for the jump again. I don't get punished. There's no big um, rhythm yet. Um, so I get hit a couple times when I hopped in. Nothing too dangerous. Um, I try to adjust to his gameplay. He seems to like fall under pressure. Uh, he has his bread and butter combo that I've quickly found out is his go-to and he doesn't have much else yet so I'm kinda gonna start trying to avoid that and of course the uh, the teleporting V-trigger for the, the KO so this one will be a little bit more defensive this time I'm trying to stay away um, from the hop-ins as I, I quickly learned that uh, he's gonna punish it every single time and once I've, I've seen that pattern I'm just going to stop doing it because I know he's going to start beating the crap out of me. Um, he's got me in a corner. Uh, he likes to throw that, that punish up in the air. And that's really all he has against, against me at this point. Um, had I not been hopping in, I probably would have been way safer. But uh, So right now he's basically crushing me in the corner. Um, I'm going to play it safe here for a minute. Um, trying not to hop in, which is it's really hard for me. Um, Bison, um, I've always played him as like a hopping kind of character. I like to do either the head stomp or uh, I'll just jump in or do the cross up. But uh, obviously that's not going to work here. So you'll see me kind of shut that down, go for a different ground approach. Um, <laughs> I, can, I still, sometimes I can get away with it. Um, it it's a bad idea. So he's still, he, he thinks I'm going for the air now, which is something I have going for me. Um, he's trying to read the air. He can't do it. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to stay away. Play a little bit more defensive. Try to read. You can see he hasn't really gotten off that bread and butter combo since since I figured it out um, the first time. And his, he's not doing as much to me. So here I've I, he does not respond well to pressure. So I'm going to pressure him as hard as I possibly can. Which he's he's obviously just sitting in the corner praying that I don't break his defense. Uh, right here. I, I was reading a, a grab and it didn't he didn't do it so fortunately his his ultimate uh, went through before my grab did and I was able to defend it and hit him for the, the finish going right into the next fight uh, with Ryu I pray that you never have to fight someone like this uh, this fight was absolutely awful but it was a good lesson in in, uh, in zoning and trying to uh, read read him, figure out what he was trying to accomplish, and punish all those those awful moves he was putting up against me. Round one. So right off the bat, you're gonna see me get my, my butt kicked. Um, he likes to throw Hadoukens and stay back. Uh, he punishes pretty much everything I, I go at him with here in the beginning. Um, not looking so good on my part, making a lot of mistakes. Um, I get in there, so I get to start to pressure him, try to look for an opening, um, see what he doesn't like. Um, so far, he's very his his combos aren't anything special. He's very uh, much a counter fighter. <clears throat> um, he likes to run away, so uh, he'll he'll punish my jumps with a short you can. So I have to get in there, try to teleport in without him punishing with a Hadouken or a short you can. Um, Still, he's, he's just running away. 
Um, I have to close in the best I can without opening myself up too much. And then he gets the finish. But an important thing is about a quarter to half of your health in the first round, you can, I want to say safely, give it up. Um, I mean, don't give it up easily, but it is kind of like my explorative health, where I can see, you know, what, what are they going to punish me with? Um, what kind of openings are they going to give me? Um, try to use that to be uh, really offensive. Um, some people just straight crack under pressure, and then you can just beat them to death. Some people, they're going to defend it, and you're not going to learn a whole lot other than what they know what to defend. Um, and what you're really looking for is what kind of moveset are they going to throw at you. Like, obviously this Ryu wants to run away. I've had to figure out how I'm going to close in without opening myself up too much. <clears throat> which uh, I can't give up any more rounds here. So I, I obviously have to go in more defensive the second round. But it, it also, when you play more defensive and you're playing these defensive people, you can punish them when they throw out uh, like Hadoukens or they're running away and uh, to really just finish them off. See, he just, he just wants to run the whole time. He's trying to bait me into attacking, which I'm, I'm, I slightly have to fall for just so I can get close enough to kill him. Fortunately, I have the V-Trigger which is amazing for finishing off faders like this. This game, I'm honestly like, I had to play extremely defensive. He's just going to try to bait me into attacking him. Um, the more defensive I play, the better. Because he's going to mess up, and I'm going to punish it pretty hard. Um, I've seen, at this point, all of his moves, pretty much. All he has is a Hadouken, uh, like a punch into a Hadouken, and that's pretty much it. Um, nothing too damaging. If I don't give him anything to counter, he's not going to hit me, unless I mess up like that. Um, jumping in is kind of a bad idea, but at this point he's scared, he's not wanting to counter. I get him in the corner, and uh, from here I can just kind of keep him there, try to zone him in there. Um, the corner really isn't his friend anymore, That I'm now that I've figured him out. Um, he's going to get the, uh, the alt right here, but at this point I'm not too worried about it. I can easily teleport him for the KO. So uh, I hope you learned something. Um, I plan to make more videos. My my ranked LP stays around 2,000 in the just floating around the Silver League. It's uh, I haven't played much ranked lately. Um, I've had so many rage quitters, and until they patch it, um, I'm probably not going to play too much ranked in the near future, just because it's so frustrating to have people leave once you've won. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching.